Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much new makeup at Walmart today. I had to do this shopping vlog, and so let's go through it. So, and I want to add that this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Like always, thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. They've been super kind and nice to me over here. Def definitely check them out, guys. They have the Lawnmower 4.0. They're shipping to New Zealand, Australia, and the United Kingdom. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to steer you wrong. It's an amazing product, and I literally use it every single day to trim the nose the ears anywhere there's like hair growing I, they have amazing stuff over there and not just razors and shavers they have lots of body washes so definitely check that out and thank you Manscaped for sponsoring this video they are shipping to New Zealand Australia and the United Kingdom as well so you can get your hands on it I put the link down below and the discount automatically applies at checkout let's get on with the drama so yeah, it just looks, it's matte. oh, I love a good mattifying powder. I don't know, I'm tempted to try it. So it's $9.88, and I also have really, really warmer colors in the back, so I like that. And I just like creams, and uh, these are the foundations. Oh my God, nursing, it just looks great. And they also have BB creams too, so if you don't want like, that total like makeup look, whatever. Every brand, I feel like every brand has like some type of 24 karat gold primer. But this is 98% natural. Where's the other 2%? No, but I like it so far. I'm not hey, I'm just like, you know, cracking jokes, whatever, don't come for me. Um, they got diamond powder illuminating moisturizer. That almost sounds interesting enough, like I really like wanna try. Walmart's been doing this new thing where they kind of discovered that beauty is a multi-billion dollar business. So other businesses like Target have expanded their beauty section. Uh, where it's like almost, I want I don't want to say like 50% of the store, but it's almost like a really, really good chunk, like 30% of the store is dedicated to beauty because it's such a huge like category and demographic. And I think Walmart is finally catching on because they're signing a whole bunch of new brands to compete against, you know, the other retailers. And so this is like one of their new little sections where they even have like a dedicated cashier up here and stuff like that. I try not to get anyone's faces, but okay. So yeah, they even like do, doing this whole little color story thing and it looks pretty cool. So this is Revlon. And so I think what this means for like brands like Revlon and brands like, I don't know, NYX is that you're going to have new brands that are going to come like found. And there's some other ones here that makes them want to like compete more. So they step up their formula and step up packaging and stuff like that. So yeah, like Physicians Formulas are really good. They're really known for like their uh, brown bronzer. Oh my God, I'm just, it's like an exciting time right now. But again, 24 karat gold collagen setting spray. It's like that 24 karat gold. Let me know, do you think that trend has died out or is it here to stay? Anyways, they do have palettes. Uh, let me see, so you got the found eyeshadow palette. It's like a very natural everyday for the modern life. I think they're nailing it. Oh my god, Nickelodeon Rugrats? What is it? Smackers? Oh wow. It's a lot. Oh my god, Cinnamon Toast. Oh my god, look at this. You got the breakfast pack. These are lip balms. That is so cute. And then on this side, you have the Crayola crayons, the lip balms. That's really cute too. Oh my god, there's so many. They got Hershey's, they got Lip Smackers. The different um, types. Oh my God, root beer? No way. This is a lot. I mean, I guess if you're like really into Coca-Cola, this would be like your thing right here. Wow, okay. This is my, my little fun section. So let me see what we got down here. Uh, we got, oh, nail polishes. Um, Jojo Siwa stuff. Unicorn glitter for the hair, face and body. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm just like, I just wanted to share with you the found, because I found this new brand. Ooh, I'm not, why do I want to try it all? Okay, these are really good, real techniques. I know that beauty blenders are like more popular brand, but if you're on a budget, um, these work really, really good. And there's even like a bigger one, I think by Sonia something, I forgot the name, that Target, she has this really huge beauty face blender. It's like a beauty sponge, I'm sorry. It's so, it's so, so, so good. You gotta try it out. Okay, so let's see what else they got in here. Hard candy. I'm, like, I tried a lot of hard candies. Hard candy is like very hit or miss for me. They did this like limited edition collection with Marilyn Monroe. So, but these are new. I think, yeah, see, oh my God. Cause I remember when this 
uh, Marilyn Monroe makeup collection first came out, I reviewed it and like just like I think it was like in a drama video. I just kind of went over it, but now they added to their collection. So they got the ha what, is it, what is this hard candy strawberry jelly cleanser? I have the picture of Marilyn Monroe's face on there. Um, they got the lip balm. What is this? The satin lipsticks, and it has her um, her autograph on there too. That's pretty cute. Aww, it's blinged out with the Marilyn Monroe face on it. So I think they really um, put their eggs in one basket because they really like double down on this Marilyn Monroe makeup. And yes, I think it's here to stay. And so then we got, oh, the lip bar. I remember this brand. I think this brand is also at Target too. I haven't tried it, but I like that it's vegan beauty, but I like, I like it. And then TLB which stands for the lip bar. Um, it was glass too. She so got skin glow. Their packaging looks really cute too. Look, it's almost like a little web. Set the tone, finish powder. Wow, there's so much new stuff here. And the packaging is really cute too. I just wanna like take it all in, okay. And then of course you have Milani. You know, I guess I love Milani. So, 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 so much. Um, I've, this one's really good. And I talk about this like majority every time I come to Walmart and I see it. This one's really good, but there's like another one. Uh, I saw someone else talk about, I think there, if you don't like that whole, um, like, what is it? The cannabis, sativa, seed oil stuff. If you don't like that, they just have one without it. And that one's great too. But I think this is chill out. Okay, cool. I'm honestly going through this video like in the moment. So I haven't looked at everything and then shot the video. I'm just doing it as I go. Um, so excuse me if I'm like all over the place. I'm just like taking it all in, getting kind of excited. Oh my gosh, the true match. Are these glass? I think there's like a, it's either a glass or like a really thick plastic. Wow. Oh my God, why do I want to try that? The bronze pleat. See, I love a good, huge bronzer. La Tierra. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to turn around. So we got Maybelline. Maybelline. And then we got L'Oreal. Come on this side. Beauty. We got some nails. And I think they stepped up their, um, their nails too because... It used to just be like really basic and stuff like that, but now they have like fun nails like these. And there's even better ones. I've even seen oh, these right here. I mean, oh my God, I love that color. I just love that color. It's like a Tiffany blue color. But then these right here, like, ah. Oh. Okay, so this is really, really, really exciting time. Um, we got Alme, Physicians Formula, Burt's Bees. Neutrogena. Let me see. Wet and Wild. Do they have that SpongeBob collection? I have been looking for the Wet and Wild SpongeBob collection for a while and I can't find it anywhere. And then when it comes to Wet and Wild, like if you're like around my skin tone, this this is so good. This foundation is so good. I know it smells like paint primer, but it's so freaking good. There is a color and I don't know what like there's a color that I always used to get and I can't find it anymore. So I always, always just, I just get the one next to it sometimes, but does it ever happen to you? Like you find a color you like and then you, like you just can't find it, whatever. Oh, this is like Pat McGrath, the house. Who is this? Wet and Wild, this straight up looks like Pat McGrath. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you, whatever. Shut up, don't come for me. Okay, we're at Elf. Elf brushes, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with elf brushes. I mean, $2.82, $1.90. Like, I've seen people turn out looks with these brushes. Like, it just got to show me that you don't need expensive brushes to really turn out a good, decent look. You know, like, if you have the skill, then yeah. Um, I've always liked these little gel powder eyebrow kits. It's like, you know, it does the trick. <gasps> Clear brow lash mascara, no. That is everything. God, what, I want to try this one. 
Okay, I'm so trying this one. Because it's a, like, I just feel like it's good. I don't know, I feel like it's good. All right. Because it's kind of like that whole makeup, no makeup look, you know? But I really want to try these. But then they have like light brown, like dark brown. I don't know. I, I'll just go with like, and they're so inexpensive too. So it's like, why not, you know? Oh my gosh, I, this is the part that I always have a trouble with. Cause I'm like, well, I don't know which one should I get. Should I get taupe? Should I get neutral brown? Should I get um, auburn? Should I get a deep brown? Should I get it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I always feel like if you get like a like a black or too dark of a brown, then you kind of have like those witch brows or whatever. But then like people, but then I feel like if I go too light, it'll look too fake. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm going to go with um, deep brown. F it. Okay. I'm just going to go with it. Okay. Don't come for me. Like I'm taking a risk here. I'm 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 spending my dollar my two dollars and fifty four cents here. Okay, and then we have oh the mint melt cooling cleanser. I used this one. I went on vacation, and I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes I'll go on vacation and then like I'll get stuff when I'm there, so I don't have to like pack so much. And so yeah, but I don't see I don't see any lashes though. Oh, these are cool. The Flawless Ice Roller. Just put this in your refrigerator and you're good to go. One of my supporters, oh, I love that. I have a little one of these, but Flawless Beauty at Home Solutions. <gasps> they have a facial steamer now? Are you serious? Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay. All right, so I think I'm, I think that's it. I think I'll take I'll take this one. I'll try it again, girl. Okay. All right, guys, I'll let you go. Let me know what you think about this video.